Hello guys, if you have may heard, I am currently trying to find a train or any type of train native to my state. And I was looking around, looking around for some really good trains until I found something that caught my eye a lot. Something that I have seen before, and something that I know is native to my state. This is the TRE, Trinity Express Rail or Trinity Railway Express. Consists of three, maybe two, Bombardier bi-level coaches. Usually fire followed with the driver one, also followed with a diesel train or an electric engine at the front, sometimes operated at the back. Now again, looking by the, the type of color on the train, you can tell it is um, native to Texas and like I said, looking for a train native to my state, that means this train is native to Texas, and that is where I am from. So right now, we are going to head and check out the train. So right now, we're all hooked up. We're going to start the engine. Does not sound exactly how it would, but it's pretty good. Pretty close. Actually, that whoa, whoa. That's how it actually sounds. That's pretty good. Also, apparently, some of the stars on the sides light up, so I thought that was going to cool. make it look more patriotic. Let's go ahead and check out the horn. And what if we do it on this side? Yeah, that train back there also blows its horn. And the couplers can detach, but we're not going to detach anything right now. This bell is faster. The one down there is slower. I'm going to check out that one in a bit. Let's go ahead and pop this station. We get a scenic view. Once we get to the station, usually the driver will some flip to that side so you don't have to spin around the whole train. Great invention. Now, though, I've never seen a train that doesn't have an engine, it just has that and the other side of that. I've never seen trains like that, and I don't think we ever will because I don't think they ever exist, so. Alright, let's go ahead and slow down to the station. Also, this would be a good opportunity to take a look at some of the stuff on this train. Let's go ahead and get off right here. I'm actually going to change my speed to 85 so we can get all the way to the side of the train. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Let's change my speed back to 16. Now, you have to jump in through the driver's seat right there. That's kind of weird. I've never seen um, the train that you have to do that where I don't think they just haven't detailed yet so you can't do that. But um, on most trains, um, for the TRE, but have a ladder on the side or a door that you can go through, which I do not see in those games. Let's see that. This is going to this little mile per hour thing. I might be in those so it's glitched. But also another glitch I found out you you can't drive forward on your own, like just all of a sudden. It will go glitch out. So you gotta go backwards at three, and then you have to push forward at three. Then so it's kind of annoying, but hey, I mean, not not everything's perfect, so not much. But Roblox could be a little bit. Plus, the person who made this train, I believe, is the oil train. train basically has power and it's connecting but not all trains actually have a, a bell or engine system fully which is why if you ring the bell 
you won't hear it in these trains. You'll only hear it in a train that has a script scripted full engine. So, it, we could technically disconnect this train and drive it without the engine, in which I'm going to demonstrate right now, but this is not a real world scenario, so you will never any, see any kind of real train do this type of thing, unless they start having these new type of trains that can do that. Let's go ahead and start driving. As you can see, we are now departing, and also, um, for anyone who has tried driving trains, in the port of speed 8, for too long, they're free, the engine will be small. Perfect. Alright, this is all I wanted to demonstrate or show you guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. Also, I am working on my quality. I am trying to check out all my quality options, trying to fix out all the quality issues with my videos. So if you see still bad quality still, I am working as hard as I can to fix it without having to bring out the super slow OBS studio and having to find my all my files every single time. So hopefully we get it fixed. So if there's any quality issues on this video, let me know in the comment section so I can uh, fix it ASAP. See you guys in the next one. Peace.